what am I doing? It's Monday morning. I've just done, just done a 10-hour night shift. I'm knackered and I should be going to bed. But I want to talk about comic books instead. So I'm going to do this quick YouTube video and I hope you lot appreciate it. Or if not, I, I don't care. It's just, uh, you know, I've got to do it, man. You've got to do it. Am I looking? Am I looking tired? I am. Right, two comic books then. Uh, Bane Conquest. Uh, I like the uh, the dialogue on the front cover there. And uh, The Shadow Batman, number two. I'm not going to review both books, I just want to say a couple of things about um, you know, some of the major points which I got from them both. Uh, the first one then, um, the Batman, sorry, the Bane Conquest one. Now, I want to keep the best to last on this one because it really made me last, laugh in that it was so um, painfully there. Yeah, the, the writer of the book obviously thought the final panel of this book was something, wow, amazing. <laughs> it wasn't. It was, it was so not amazing. It was, it was awesome in that it wasn't amazing. It was awesome in that it was completely failing to do what the, the writer and artist um, intended. And um, in failing, they kind of succeeded in making me laugh. Anyway, right, this book then, it's a Mickey take of um, um, the, the Buddhist religion, the um, and Dalai Lama. When the Dalai Lama, Lama dies, you've got to find a another kid who was born at the same time and all that kind of crap. And the the guy in this book is called the Nadja Nadja. So, so uh, you know, wait, you know, piss take of a religion which doesn't get um, ripped as much as it should do. Why, why does no one take the piss out of Buddhism, out of um, and the Dalai Lama and all that crap, the crappiness, all the Tibet mumbo jumbo stuff, which always, it always pops up in comic books, doesn't it? There's always some mystical kung fu nonsense going on in the Himalayas and, you know, Dalai Lama and there's, there is no wisdom there. There is no wisdom there. They got easily conquered by the Chinese. Do you think they got any wisdom? They got no bloody wisdom, man. So, you know, take the piss out of them. They deserve it. Um, yeah. The main uh, thing I got out of this book is that um, the female character there, she's like a kick-ass super, you know, ninja type. And she's basically begging main, uh, Bane for mercy. Saying to him, Please allow me to stay with him. And she's, you know, she's crying. There. Oh. I feel so sorry for, for her. She just wants to protect this baby. It's not her baby, by the way. It's not her baby. It's the Nadja Nadja. And then she smiles because she's realised that she's just um, fooled the big-hearted goon. And now she's going to um, um, make her escape on that uh, futuristic helicopter thing. And there she goes. The Nadja Nadja. So it's um it's how it really um, should be in, in comic books. Because would you believe that this little skinny girl could beat up Bane? Well, yeah, she could if um, it was a Star Wars movie, of course. It'd just be one high kick, wouldn't it? And Bane would be unconscious. But um, yeah, let's get a bit of realism back into into our comic books. The the girl would be using her feminine wiles to um, um, make Bane feel sorry for her, make um, him lower his guards, as women do in the real world. Women are all about... Um, Emotional manipulation, are they not? Am I, am I lying here? Do, do females use emotional manipulation against males to get what they want? They kind of do. And it's um, it's portrayed in the pages of the comic book. So, and that, no high kicking little girls beating up the men, but the men, but the women still beating the men as they actually beat men in the real world. So I appreciate that. Oh, and here we go then. Um, I'll title this video something like um, Worst Final Panel Ever, so, know, something like that. Because, okay, what's, what's this book about? It's, oh, it's just a load of nonsense, really. It's uh, Batman and the Shadow having a bit of a, an argument about a new bad guy who's popped up. And we've got Damien Wayne here, you know, Batman's son, um, being an annoying brat as he always is. Um, what can I say about Damien Wayne? Um, he thinks he's an adult when he's about 12, and uh, nah. Batman, or Bruce Wayne, really should, should let him know that um, if you're just a little kid, stop talking to your dad like that. But, uh, he seems to get away with it in the pages of the comic book. Uh, I'm not a fan of Damien Wayne. Is it? Little S-H-I-2. Anyway, the, the final panel, right? Well, I'll, I'll reveal it here. <laughs> just so you can see it in all his um, underwhelming glory, or lack of glory. Right, so... The Batman and Shadow agree to team up to fight this this evil, blah, blah, blah. The, no, nothing happens in this book, really. And we've got this whole page here, right? We've got all these reaction shots. So we've got um, Batman and uh, the Shadow now walking through the corridors. 
And so you assume that um, Shadow is, I don't know, he's got some sort of suit on because he's been working in the office, right? So that's what you assume. So you've got this look here. This look here. And they're just talking. Look. But she looks so surprised. What's going on here? What we said surprising about seeing, you know, the Shadow in the suit. He's just a normal looking guy. He's not um, eight foot tall and purple or something. We all know what the Shadow looks like, right? He's, he's just got this scarf over his mouth when he's a crime fighter. The rest of the time you see him all the time. So... His, um, his secret identity isn't a great mystery. It's it's not really a thing in the shadow. So what's the final page going to be? You ready for this? You ready? Prepare yourself. Da! Yes, it's two blokes in suits, and the one with the briefcase is the shadow, and there's Batman there. Ta -da! Ta -da! Ta -da! Are you excited for the next issue? Next, blood in the boardroom. Oh no, this is going to be blood in the boardroom. Is he going to get a paper cut? What's going to happen next? The excited issue of The Shadow, Batman, issue number two. The Shadow. Ask his secretary for a cup of coffee. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything more underwhelming? What the hell are they thinking? <laughs> He's just a guy. He's just a guy. But then again, he always was just a guy. And um, seeing his face was never a thing. <laughs> Does nobody tell the writers, Steve Orlando, about this? <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> ah, man. Hope you got a bit of enjoyment out of that video. I've got to go to bed now. Uh, cheers. Thanks for checking me out. I'll, I'll be back tomorrow or whatever. Um, doing more nonsense videos, I think. Or maybe something serious every now and then. D depending how I'm, I'm, how I'm feeling. If I've got any coffee in me or not, I guess. So cheers. Thanks for checking me out. Um, uh, I need to go to bed. See you later. Goodbye.